Dear participants, distinguished colleagues, may I have your attention? On behalf of the Pogwash Council, it is my pleasure to make a few closing remarks and express gratitude to all those who made this event in Astana a reality. The planning of the 62nd Pogwash Conference was initiated two years ago in Nagasaki, and yet, as you can imagine, it was not an easy task. A significant part of planning this conference was carried out under the guidance of uh, Jayanta Danapala, the president, and Professor Paolo Cotara Messino, the secretary general, and his uh, smallest staff in the Rome office, assisted by Dr. Tatsu Suzuki, the member of the executive committee of Pogwash, and of course, the uh, Kazakh's foreign ministry. A special thanks go to our dear colleague, the indispensable and capable Claudia Wan, who's, uh, without whose presence, no conference succeed. Others who volunteer, volunteered their time to this event are Mima DeSantis, the Roberta Molas, and Paul Christensen. We express our deepest thanks to all of the Pogwash eyes, the national Pogwash groups, the uh, ISYP, and invited the speakers and participants from Kazakhstan and many other countries in Latin America, Africa, Middle East, North America, Asia, to be here with us. Your participation and uh, your presentation in the plenary sessions and the working groups helped the success of this event. We are grateful to our sponsors, including the uh, Simons Foundation, and especially our dear colleague, Jennifer Simons, uh, Carnegie Foundation, and of course, the, uh, the Kazakhs government, uh, which made this conference possible. Thank you all. I would like to give the floor to His Excellency, Mr. Kasim Jomart Tokiev, Chair, Chairman of the Senate of the Parliament of Kazakhstan, to make his remarks at this time. Thank you very much, dear outgoing President Dana Pala, dear new President Duarte, dear Secretary General Mr. Ramosino, dear Madam Chair of the Pagwash Council, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a pleasure and honor for Kazakhstan to host the 62nd Pagwash Conference on Science and World Affairs. From its very inception, the Pagwash Conferences have been known for bringing scientific insight, generating meaningful and collaborative dialogue on the most pressing issues facing humanity and seeking a world free of nuclear weapons. The founding document, the famous Russell Einstein Manifesto of 1955, calling upon scientists of all political persuasions to find peaceful means for the settlement of all matters of dispute still drives its ongoing work. It's very essential that Pagosh has a wide outreach actively engaging the young generation and national groups across the world. The Astana meeting brought a new momentum to this important work. It's not a coincidence that our country was offered to hold this forum. Today, international community marks an, an international day against nuclear tests. The day 26 years ago, the Simeon Palatinsk nuclear test site has been closed down by the historic decree of President of Kazakhstan, Nusultan Nazarbayev, who all these years have been playing a key role in global efforts in non-proliferation and disarmament areas. I am confident that our fruitful contacts with the Pagwash will be maintained in the future as it fulfills its noble mission promoting the cause of peace 
through dialogue across divides and offering new thinking and creative approaches to emerging challenges. Thank you very much for your attention. Now I turn to the new president of Pogwash, Ambassador Duarte. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saide. I think it is fitting at this closing ceremony when I first, for the first time in my new capacity, I address the membership of Pogwash. I think it's fitting to recognize and to express to chairman, the chairman of the Senate of the Parliament of Kazakhstan, Mr. Takayev, our deepest gratitude to the government of Kazakhstan and to the people of Astana for their general support and hospitality. This beautiful and prosperous country has set important examples in the field of disarmament and the peaceful uses of atomic energy. Today we will visit, for the, first, uh, we'll visit the first fuel bank organized by the Kazakh government in order to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons. We have witnessed the extraordinary display of the commitment of Kazakhstan to the development of renewable sources of energy at the Vibrant Expo 2017. And I am sure that Kazakhstan will continue to play a decisive role in this and other important challenges of the current world panorama. I also thank all those who made the, this 62nd conference possible. And uh, this includes, of course, all our uh, sponsors and uh, the whole membership of Pagwash, that means you. The tradition of excellence of Pagwash in science and world affairs is not a gift inherited from the stars. It is, on the contrary, the result of several decades of dedicated and patient work away from the limelight, from all its members, scientists, scholars, professionals, and diplomats alike. I recall, in conclusion, a motto that was once used in my own institution, the Brazilian Foreign Service. And the motto was, our best tradition is knowing how to bring about renewal. To maintain and to improve our tradition of excellence is a task for the whole membership, not just for a few of us. Let us embrace it wholeheartedly. Thank you very much. Paulo Cota Ramasino, the Secretary General, wants to make a few concluding remarks. Paulo? Well, more than a concluding remark, since we are going to have the press present here, I would like to, the, the program and the conference is available. I would like to just summarize in few words what we have been discussed and what is the topic that we addressed here. We are the first group of topics which has to do with general nuclear disarmament. We started with the comprehensive test ban treaty since here in Kazakhstan the legacy of the nuclear test is a serious problem. And we wanted to use this opportunity to strengthen, stress the importance of bringing the CDBT Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty into force. Then we discussed about the proposal in the UN for a new treaty, which in fact is a total nuclear ban. We are looking forward to helping the treaty itself to be expanded to ex and the most that we can. We discussed about some issues concerning the now nuclear weapons free zone or WND weapons free zone. This in terms in general. Then we had some, uh, I would say, specific consideration about the nuclear risk. See, the title here is uh, Nuclear Dangers. Nuclear dangers are not only uh, connected with the existence of weapons, but also on the possibility that these weapons can be used. And they can be used not only by Russia, United States, and the three other quote-unquote official nuclear weapon states according to non-proliferation treaty. 
but can be used also to the other nuclear states. And in fact, it happens that the dangers are very much concentrated now on some specific situation. North Korea is one, which is obvious. Then the other one is the India-Pakistan rivalry, and the fact that both countries have nuclear weapons. Then we discussed about uh, Israeli nuclear weapons and the situation in the Middle East. Nuclear weapons can be used in the future not out of uh, vacuum. Quite reasonably, nuclear weapons can be used as in a situation where you have conflicts and tensions and antagonism. So one important part of Pakwash activity in general that has been reported here is to deal with the regional conflicts in situations where nuclear weapons matter. So we discussed about India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, North Korea, and so on. Particularly Afghanistan, since it's a complicated environment where many things get together, Russian American rivalry, Indo-Pakistani, and so on. Then, we discussed about uh, some problem which we are, have all seen here, which is the issue of uh, radical groups. They are getting more and more relevance in the world policy, and they have also influence in the situation where we have conflicts. Last day, we discussed the nuclear agreement concerning Iran and the risk that this agreement can be dismantled. Finally, there is a strong correlation between nuclear energy and the capability of building nuclear weapons. And we discussed also this in preparation for the afternoon where an interesting, very interesting initiative taken by the state of Kazakhstan will happen, and it is the idea of creating a bank for low enriched uranium, which is inside, which is part of the idea of building international fuel cycle centers. These, the topics that I described today are not only the topics of this conference, but are very much the topics of our organization, and then it is where we concentrate in our activities. So the conference here has been a sort of overture on the Pagwash itself and the meeting and the activities and the talks that we are having during our normal period of life, in, in particular in the last two years. And we are ready to answer for any question about this to the press and to discuss with them some specific question that they may ask. Thank you, Paolo. The working group reports uh, which offer these deep insights uh, into the reality of the present international system deserves much attention and uh, will be posted on the Pogwash website and we hope that will uh, create a wider impact. Um, I uh, thank you all for your participation and I hope that I see you in the next conference. But before we um, end the conference, I have to um, just uh, make an announcement to the Pogwash Council members uh, that uh, they have to be ready by 1 o'clock. The bus leaves at 1 for, to take us to the next event. And I hope that you bring a piece of ID or passport with you. Thank you all. Thank you.